English lesson two, character description. Now we still have the same Walt, identifying different words to describe the character, and we're going to write sentences to describe the character. Now, you're going to have to read the book, Giraffes Can't Dance, again, okay? And then you're going to, this time, use the character description sheet, which looks like this. It's a planning sheet that is used to organize your ideas about a character, how a character has changed. You could write down words from the story, like write down words from the word wall, or write down your own ideas about the character. So character name. What's his name? Gerald. Look at the words and pictures in the book to complete the table. What does the character look like? Words that represent people, places or things are called nouns. Words that represent qualities are called adjectives. Words. What does the character look like at the beginning of the story? Pictures. Draw a picture of what the character looks like at the beginning of the story. So at the beginning of the story, we know that on this first page, Gerald was a tall giraffe. The word tall is an adjective to describe what Gerald looked like, whether he was tall or short. His neck was long and slim. Long and slim also describes his physical appearance. So these two words are adjectives. But his knees were awfully croaked, croaked, and his legs were rather thin. Some other words, croaked and thin, to describe the what the character looked like. Okay, the next page is going to talk about what he does, his actions. You don't have to worry about that now. Now. So, so you're going to write down Gerald at the beginning and then after you've written down what Gerald was like at the beginning, you're going to read what Gerald at the end, okay? Look through the end of Giraffes Can't Dance and find words that represent Gerald's happenings or actions, his qualities and details such as where, when and how. So, words that represent happenings or actions, qualities, and details of where, when, or how. You're going to write two more sentences to finish the character description of Cheryl at the end of the story. You're going to use the words from the boxes above. Let's have a look at this sentence. Cheryl is a good dancer now. He sways his neck gracefully. Excellent. So, let's have a look at some of these questions. Now, you should be given a copy of these. Okay, let's have a look at these words. Elegant means graceful and nice looking. Clumsy, moving in awkward ways, falling or bumping into things. Sneered, to laugh at someone with a look on your face that isn't kind. Clearing is an opening in the trees that allows you to, to see the sky. Do you remember these words from the story? Shuffling, sliding your feet on the ground without lifting up your feet completely. Entranced, to look at with wonder and amazement. Froze up, when you can't move like you're frozen. Rooted to the spot, Gerald was rooted to the spot, means can't move with, like your feet have grown roots in the ground. Swaying means little movements back and forth. And you've got the character traits here that can help you to do this.